Hey guys, Justin here. Welcome back to the train channel. I'm in Fremantle right now, and today we'll do the vlog. Fremantle to Armadale. Back in Perth for the first, I mean not first day actually, but this time we'll do some Fremantle line. Long time I've not done any Fremantle line, so let's go and do it in this vlog today. Full journey back up to Perth, then Armadale line, down to Armadale. Now, but the thing is, I would like to address this real fast. I appreciate all the request, but it would be better if the requests are not every single time two full journeys. Because it would be not too much fun to watch after I filmed the full journeys already for a lot of times. So, but uh, I still re appreciate all the requests and let's do it. Fremantle to Armadale. It's going really to be an hour, one hour for this video, but let's do it. Long time not taking the Fremantle line, so let's do it. Next station, North Fremantle. This train runs from Fremantle to Perth, stopping at all stations. Okay, actually this window for this A-series train, this window kind of sucks actually. There are a lot of blurry things on the uh, window. Dingo flower. Wow. I just saw that one. What the hell is Dingo flower? Next station, Victoria Street.
Next station, Morseman Park. Well, there's a uh, there's a weirdo at the front. <laughs> there's a weirdo at the front pressing the button f at every single station, <laughs> opening the doors at every single station. There's a weirdo at the front. Honestly, very clearly, that's a weirdo. But uh, hey, whatever. No one comes on the train and stop him. Then whatever, screw it. It's not really affecting it, anyways. It's not really affecting the train journeys. Next station, Cottesloe. If I have to choose a favorite line to take, for sure Mandra line the favorite. Second is probably Fremantle because it's heritage line, a lot of fun. This is Cottesloe. I've been to Cottesloe before. Just go to the beach and eat some stuff. And this guy's gonna press the button again. I actually want to film him. There's the weirdo right there, and he's going to ready to click the button, and he won't get off. So watch this, you see? There you go, he pressed the button and it didn't get off. Grand Street is also on the right, and then Swanbourne is on the left. So I have a lot of memories on Swanbourne because one time the train, due to the, the Perth suicidal accident, didn't kill him. I think I think no one died, but there's just a person who tried to kill himself, which caused the uh, the trains to stop <laughs> at Swanbourne for a little bit because uh, the train just stuck. Next station, Grand Street. Oh, Grand Street is also on the left. Okay. The lighting's a little bit bad, but that's fine. Next station, Swanbourne. 
I really like to say the announcement and then do the motor sound. It's fun, very funny in my opinion. Swanborn. Next station, Claremont. This is where airport line will terminate when it opens, but basically they will call the airport line from High Wycombe, but they will just only call them until Perth. Yes, they were only going to call the air that's the, that it is airport line until Perth. After it reached Perth, it will change to Fremantle line, but it just terminates at Claremont. And they probably just going to add in another pattern for that one, maybe like a P. P pattern or something like that. Actually, does they have a P pattern? It has a D pattern already. Maybe like an A pattern for. But no, 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 no. Yeah, maybe I pattern or R pattern for Claremont terminus because there is a track in the middle, getting ready for the uh, transactions. Not transactions for for the uh, trains to turn back after it reach Claremont. It was gonna clear the passengers. After it clear the passengers, head into the siding and then come back into the outside. Wow, the sunlight is way too serious. That is making it just cannot even see through the windows. The reflection of the images are kind of weird. I kind of forgot what's the next station. Lodge Street. Okay. Actually, the next station is Showgrounds, but it's not going to stop at Showgrounds, so. Hey, here's showgrounds. Actually, talking about showgrounds, this station, showgrounds here in Perth, WA, is a special station. But for the one in Adelaide, Adelaide showgrounds, it is a normal station. Every single train will stop. Uh, of course, except Seaford Line, that skips everything. And the weirdo is going to open the door again. Okay, so this time there's someone getting on, but it is completely... He's just playing with the doors, wasting time. 
Because if, if none of the doors open on the train, which is very unlikely, maybe at least like one door will open, normally. But if no doors open, the train can leave as soon as this, the announcement say door closing. Because there are no doors need to be closed. As soon as the door closing, the, the drivers can already just like move. Next station, Karakata. The shortest section on Transperth probably, I think. I think this is the shortest section. I cannot really tell other sections that are shorter than this. This is definitely the shortest section. Maybe Makaiva to Perth. But this is so short, this section. Karakata, doors open on the left. Next station, Shinton Park. <laughs> this train runs from Shinton Park to Perth. Just kidding, just kidding. That's the D pattern. And it will terminate at Perth. It's always a B series, I think. But now, technically, a series on Fremantle Line takes up more passengers because they can use four cars. And also most of the time, Fremantle Line and Midland Line during weekdays, they will always use four cars, A series. So that's why using A series on these lines are better to carry a lot of passengers. They're better than the three car B series. This is Shenton Park. Now for Shenton Park, 998 and 99 will stop. Right, uh, right outside. That's the only route that actually stopped at Chenton Park outside. Of course, 906 train replacement buses, but okay. I already see. I can already see the city from the distance. You see, very distinctive. No, no high-rise buildings except over there, which is the city. Next station, Daglish.
Okay, well this time the uh, weirdo did not open the doors because there is a person standing right in front of the door. <laughs> so that's why he probably don't have the faith to open the door there. <laughs> what a what a what a what is that one called? Uh, uh, how does it say weakling? There's a there's a oh yeah, what a lame dude. There you go. Oh, next is Subiaco, my favorite station. Definitely my favorite station all over the Transperth network. Next station, Subiaco. Filming underground sections inside tunnels are also a very fun experience. Just like in Hong Kong, every single lines are basically underground, except the Israel line before I film, and also some of the outer outer outdoor sections. But underground sections are the majority for MTL systems in Hong Kong because there's not enough space to build overground. So that's why it has to build underground. There are only some sections that have space to build an overground section. They can build overground but they can never build on the ground. Yeah. Mm, I, I mean, Israel Line. Israel Line is the only route, only line that actually have tracks built on the floor, on the ground floor. Every single thing either underground or overground. Or also Chung Chung Line in Lantau. Honestly, I think this thing, this station is so cool because it is a underground section, but it is connected to the floor. That means you can see above what is above, and then it goes back into the tunnel and then head back out. Next station, West Leadable. What's the on the left, isn't it? Yeah. These two stations are on the left here. I bet the weirdo is not gonna click the button anymore because there's so many people on the train. Quick glance at the amount of people. Next station, City West. Please change to route number five if you want to uh, go a uh, go to Elizabeth Keith for free. But I bet this is free transit. So I bet it's already the same price. Since you get into City West, it's gonna be two 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 ninety seven. Right now, it's not two eighty eight anymore. They plus ninety cents already, so it's two ninety seven. But the overall cap for the price is still. 
490. No increase for the 490 cap. It is still 490. They're not going to increase the 499. No, they still keep it at 490. But I actually have never taken a section that I need to pay 490 yet. Maximum, I always just need to pay 441 before, and now it's 450. City West. Next station, Perth. Next station, Perth. Change the Armadale line. Hopefully, I don't need to wait for long. Check the timetable. Perth station. Next train, 12.15. Okay. Not too long of a wait. That's fine. Wait for five minutes for the Armadale line service. This is Perth. Please mind the gap. After they reach Perth, they will stop for a while and set it up. And it will be, this train runs from Perth to Midland, stopping at all stations. Here is Perth. Let's see what is the uh, Armadale line service over there. Is it B series? Nope, an A series. Oh, it is a B series! <laughs> We're getting that train. <laughs> How many more minutes? Five more minutes, yeah? We, we have to get that train. Another lucky B series. Oh, you gotta be bullshitting me. You gotta be bullshitting me with that one. The escalator's dead over there. I'm just gonna... Oh gosh, this way's so long. How can I go over? <laughs> Let's go ahead and run here. So the escalator heading down underground to walk over is dead, so I need to walk upwards and then walk back down. Four, uh, four more minutes for Armadale. B-series, we have to get it. <laughs> Another B-series. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Here we go. Another B-series. Get the let's get the B series. Cars two? Is that a buck right there? <laughs> it's car three. Three cars, man. We do the last car. Seventy-seven.
Alright, made it onto the B series. Let's do some Let's do some sit down filming. Shh. Let's do it. Nice B series on the Armadale line. This train runs from Perth to Armadale, stopping at all stations to Claysbrook, then Oates Street, then Cannington, and then all stations to Armadale. It is departing. Doors closing. Door. Well, is the door closing? <laughs> There's the announcement playing. Saying door closing. But the door's not closing. Well. Here we go. There's a thorny service. The announcement for this train is kind of dead. Not really hearing the announcement clearly. Next station, McIver.
Next station, Claysbrook. Then non stop to Old Street. Arrived at Claysbrook. Let's see, any hummy cars? Two cars, unfortunate. <laughs> this is Claysbrook. Next stop, Old Street. Next station, Oat Street, then non-stop to Cannington. Change at Oat Street for, for Welshpool and Queen's Park. Nerf Stadium. <laughs> Next is Burstwood. Next is Victoria Park. It's always more enjoyable when taking the B series. Although it's better, the the A series are better for filming, but the B series are better for taking. So, and uh, for the B series, filming is not too difficult, but not as easy as A series because the poles is kind of narrow, and I cannot put my hands through it. But uh, B series are definitely better to take. It's just like more enjoyable. It's feel like better.
Here's Victoria Park. Carlisle, skip. Just said I passed through here on Route 288. Buses didn't pass through it exactly here, a little bit at the front. Next station, Oat Street to Cannington. Change at Oat Street for Welshpool and Queen's Park. Oh no, more two cars. <laughs> Need to have more f f four cars, man. At least more four cars, not two cars. Next station, Cannington. Change at Cannington for Thornley. Queen's Park coming up. All right, Queen's Park is right here. Is it raining? Kylie, 
Next station, Cannington. Change at Cannington for Thorney. Uh, the thing is the path here, the path right here, which is the other path, other other path for the buses, it is dead because they have uh, they have cut off one side of the uh, car path, the route. I mean, the the the, the road at the bottom for like a, I think a re, re, rebuild. So that's why buses can, there's only one side track and cars need to loop that way and then go back <laughs> at the back. So. That's why there has been drivers messing up the path before. Going, they thought they can turn this way, but oh, I kind of forgot. As soon as they start turning, it's like, oh shit, I can't go that way. I need to go this way and then back. Waste some time there, but. It is raining, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's definitely raining. So the sky is still clear, but I think it's raining because I saw water on the uh, water drops on the windows. Next station, Beckenham. Yeah, this uh, this the, the 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 announcement on this car is dead. So I'm just gonna do all of the announcement for you guys. Arrived at Beckenham. Next station, Kenwick.
Next station, Maddington. Next station, Gosnells. More two car per C on the other side.
Goss knows in my opinion is also a very not a very safe area. <laughs> Next station, C fourth. C4 of one of the most useless stations. Okay, let's see whether anyone is actually getting on. I can actually basically see through the whole train. The answer is no. No doors opened. Wow. <laughs> no doors opened. So that means no one gets, no one had got on or got off. Wow. What a useless station. <laughs> Next station, Kelmscott. So now I have no idea how many of you guys have actually subscribed to the gaming channel. I have been uploading a lot of gaming videos on the gaming channel. So it would be great if you guys can go ahead and subscribe to that channel. Our airport scanner let's play are going on strong. And uh, we'll, very soon we will be calling it quit for airport scanner let's play. We will go on to another let's play. Definitely a lot of games. I have a lot of games already ready to be played. So that's why. Now, uh, Train Conductor's World, it has been a very popular series on the channel. We will resume Train Conductor's World Let's Play when uh, Voxel Agents uh, released the, uh, released the uh, update. They planned to have an update of getting a new area uh, in 2022. So that's why let's see whether they will update the game and give us a new area to play. Here's Kelmscott. I still remember that circular route that I filmed. I for real filmed the circular route, 240, right here. Yeah, I for real filmed the circular route. Yeah, I did. I for real. I loop up to Clifton Hills and then I come back down. So I get on right here and I get off at the same spot. So for real circular route. That was the only circular route that I filmed right now. For the cats, I won't, don't really want to film the circular route, but there will be a cat that I think I will do a circular route.
Next station, Charles. Time to stand back up. At least there are people getting off at Charles. They're not even getting one getting off at Seaforth earlier on, so Seaforth is so useless. And at the other useless station on the uh, another considered to be pretty useless station on the Armadale line is Sherwood, which is coming up. Which I have filmed a video Sherwood to Seaforth earlier on the day. Two useless stations. Next station, Sherwood. I kind of forgot about this this announcement. Next station, Sherwood. Please exercise care when you when exiting the when exiting the rail car. I actually don't remember the announcement. Can you play it again? Okay, it's playing. Next station, Sherwood. Please exercise care when leaving the rail car. The gap between the rail car and the platform may vary. Sherwood, please exercise care when you exit the aircraft. I honestly think that they actually messed up some of the announcements there because please because they, they did this the announcement they do it. This is Sherwood. Please exercise care when living the rail car due to the rail car and the platform. Due to the due to the due to the rail car and the platform. And then they end the announcement. <laughs> That's an incomplete sentence right there. Next station, Armadale, where this service terminates. I'm just gonna click both sides because I don't know which side the, the train will enter the platform, so I just click both sides. Next station, Armadale, where this service terminates.
Platform two, here we go. Arrived at Armadale. Now the good thing about entering platform two is there's no bumpers at the front. So that's why the train can actually enter at normal speed. Instead of like if there's a bumper, the driver has to slow down in case it bumps into the in case it crashes into the bumpers. But when there are no bumpers, the driver can have at least it feels he will feel a little bit more safe if you actually go ahead and just drive in there. Armadale Station, this is where we're going to end today's vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Remember to like and subscribe, click the bell so that you get notifications when I post. Check out the links in the description down below for my other channels and my Instagram. Click on these videos up top, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!